Am I the A for refusing to ever visit my mom again? Throw away as this is embarrassing. My mom and I don't have the best relationship. I was raised by my dad as my mom has drug and alcohol problems and nearly bankrupted him. He took full custody of me when I was eight, and I only have seen my mom occasionally. She always asks for money from me and is living off disability for the most part now. I used to go visit every few years. I had a hard time as to whether or not to have her in the wedding. But my dad says no matter what, she is my mom and thinks I should at least extend her an invitation. I did, and she said she wants to come but doesn't drive. She lives in another state which does not have an airport nearby or any public transportation, so for her to come here, it was a challenge. One of my closest friends, who was bridesmaid, lives about three hours away from my mom in another city, and I asked her if she could drive with her to the airport and help her get on the plane. This was a huge favor, and I made my friend promise she wouldn't bring a gift as well, as I feel so bad for asking her to do this. It was a six-hour round trip, so she had to take a day off work. She gets there two days before the wedding, and my mom is demanding things from her. She wants to stop for a coffee, and then she wants her to buy her some alcohol. My friend knows about her addiction problems and called me to ask what to do. I asked to speak with my mom and told her she agreed to be a part of the wedding, which means she will do it sober. She throws my friend's phone on the ground, and my friend is so mad because she cracked her screen. I'm livid. I told my friend to drop her back at her home. I'm so pissed she did that, and I bought my friend a new phone. I was so stressed because of this, and thankfully it didn't affect our friendship, but I just see my mom as irredeemable now. She has begged me to come and visit her, and although it's been five years since the wedding, I still haven't done so. She called my grandma, who I have a good relationship with, and cried to her I had abandoned her, and my grandma is trying to get me to visit her. I am still so angry with her. But my husband thinks enough time has passed and I should forgive and be willing to see her. Now for the comments. Not the A. Until you see actual evidence of change, you are just opening yourself up to be hurt again. Don't engage with an abuser and a user. Tell your mom that while she will always be your mom, she isn't in a good place right now. And you can't keep repeating this cycle with her. If she wants to put in the work to change for the better, would you be open to seeing her? She was supposed to be changing when I invited her to the wedding. She said she was sober for over a year, and as soon as my friend goes to pick her up, she demands that she buys her alcohol because she has money. She was just lying and has always been into making herself the victim. Sounds like it's beyond time to sharpen that knife and just cut her out. I'm sorry you have been dealing with this and have people telling you to forgive her. She's shown her colors. There's no going back. Not the A. This wasn't one low moment, but a lifetime of her letting you down and ruining important moments. Yes, she's your mom. But her ability to procreate doesn't give her unlimited access to cause you pain. It's unfortunate, but you have to look out for yourself now. And that means not letting toxic people in your life. I'm sure she's sad now. But how weird that she's not reaching out to you to apologize or make amends to you, but to those willing to do her dirty work. I'd start making it clear that you'll have to distance yourself from them if they can't respect your wishes. Not from your husband. He doesn't understand, because he doesn't know your mom. I blocked her and refused to talk to her after she begged me the first times. That's why she's going through my grandma. Not the A. No one gets to tell you how much time is enough before or if you forgive someone. It is entirely your choice to make and you are not obligated to keep anyone in your life 
who uses you or treats people doing her favors in that way, her level of disrespect comes with serious consequences. I would say until she shows you real, tangible proof that she has changed her behavior, you're not coming. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.